In this section, you'll be learning how to combine server and browser resources to execute certain query statements, how to create some advanced conditional statements for dynamic filtering. In this section, you'll need to put to use everything you know about web forms, the concepts of client-side and server-side web forms query execution, and their relationship is also introduced. Your next task in the Rocky Jupyter specifications is to make sure that when a delivery task is added to the editing section, it pops out of the list of deliveries. When the Edit button is clicked, the corresponding delivery task appears in the editing table. At the same time, the entry for the particular delivery task disappears from the delivery task list. In web forms terms, you would like to apply a condition to the query in the record set of the task list table control. If a given row is present in the task editor table control, it should not be returned in task list. While this works in theory, in practice the server cannot access complex, that is non-scalar, browser-side query results. The problem with the query is that it references a reference table on the server and a table control inside the form, in the same statement. You need to pull the original query that references the assignments database table into the browser to be able to filter it by a query to an inform table control. Enter your new best friend, a maker of helper variables, let. It will store anything for you, even the table value result of a server-side query expression. You can put the complete server-side part of the above query inside it, and it will store it for you in the form, that is, on the client side. Then you can filter this stored query result by the rows of the task editor table control, as originally intended. See the relevant tutorial chapter for more info on this trick. You simply cut the original query from task list and paste it as the value attribute inside a let named tasks. Then, in task list, you reference the query results in tasks instead of the assignments reference table, but get the exact same values. Now that there is no reference to any server-side reference table in the task list query statement, it is absolutely fine to filter it using a WHERE clause that uses a client-side table. For this setup to work, you'll actually need yet another variable to store the IDs of the tasks in the reference table. Because although in the new task list query statement you need a reference to the assignment ID column inside the rows in the task editor table, this column does not in fact show up in the record set of the task editor table control. The newly set up assignment ID variable inside the task editor will not be displayed in the web form, but it is nevertheless doubly crucial for the success of the form. You can reference it in the new task list query statement to make the disappearing magic happen, and it identifies the delivery tasks to the workflow script that will implement the user edits. Save, publish, and access the form online. Move one or more rows from the top list into the editing section and check that they do indeed disappear. The next challenge, make the editing table completely disappear when empty. So let's make the whole table, including its header, only appear in the form when there is at least one row to display inside it. From the previous tutorial, you might be familiar with the if element that shows and hides its child elements conditionally. Wrap up the complete task editor table control, complete with header, inside a huge if. If the condition with the SQL count aggregation function evaluates to true, the task editor table control is displayed in the form, otherwise it's as though it never existed. Save the form, publish it, and open it in the web form's website. As a final step, wrap the comments pop-up inside a conditional that specifies that it should only appear if there is something to display when the user clicks the link. The SQL length function returns the length of the value in the location that you specify in the query. If the length of the comment for a given entry in the assignments is not over zero, the pop-up will not appear. Save, publish, and access the latest form online. Holy vanishing, Batman! Most comments are gone. You've effectively finished the Rocky Jupiter Deliveries web form. All you need to do is add the usual validation to the editing part to prevent users breaking the reference table, and write the workflow script that processes the form submission 
and so makes the form functional.